Alif Yavuz had a brilliant career ahead of her, a baby on the way in two weeks, until terrorists took it all away. <laughs> Alif and her husband were walking in Nairobi's Westgate Mall when terrorists attacked. They were both killed, along with the child. I'm a little choked up because I, I just got off the phone with her mother. Former President Bill Clinton met Alif last month when he visited some of the Clinton Foundation's programs in Africa. And this beautiful woman comes up to me, very pregnant. She was so pregnant that I assured her that I had been a Lamaze father and could be pressed into service <laughs> at any moment. Alif graduated from Johns Hopkins University, worked for the World Bank, and then joined the Clinton Foundation. She was living in Tanzania, researching vaccines for malaria and HIV. What was she, what was she like as a person? I know they often say this when tragic things happen to people, how amazing they were, but she, she really was amazing. Matthias Mattis was friends with Alif from school. He remembers how excited she was about the baby and moving to Africa. It's hard to think that so much good could have been done and it's never going to be done. But her work is being hailed by a former president himself. I ask you in your own way to remember this wonderful young nurse that we lost, the child that will never have a chance to live. Ironically, Alif and her husband only came to Nairobi because it's supposed to be calm. It had quality medical care and was a good place to give birth. The unborn child was a girl. President Clinton says in speaking with Alif's mom, she still wants to name her granddaughter even after death. They are looking at Swahili words that mean life and love. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.